there are two types of people on this planet right now, five sensories and six sensories, and they are not at all the same. Five sensories are people who live strictly out of the left brain, out of the ego. They identify themselves only by that kind of information. Everything is out picturing. And because the ego, by nature, is fearful, the entire paradigm or point of view is me against you. And you scare me. And up goes that field of defense that only lets people in so close. So with that pushing away, the five sensory is walking in a field of fear. And they're trying to manage that fear so they're not terribly available to other people or subtle energy, which is what intuitive energy is. The five sensory has a signature. Their signature is you can always see it. They have really tight lips and a really tight butt. <laughs> Call it tight butt syndrome. And you ask them how are they are, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> TBS. And their energy is really stifling. It sucks the life out of you. You don't know quite what happened. When you're in that field, you just feel a little bit of your, your spirit just sniped away. But then there's another type of person, the sixth sensory. And the sixth sensory, we six sensors, we know that we are spirit. And as spirit, we know there's no them. There's just us. And that we share the same spirit. We share the same breath. So all of a sudden, that spirit no longer sees the world as potential enemy, but every single moment is opportunity. The sixth sensory looks at the world very differently. The five sensory is, we're different. You scare me. But the sixth sensory is, we're the same. Let's connect. And better yet, let's create. Ah. The sixth sensory has a very different signature. They always, always have a sparkle in their eye. There's always a smile on their lips. And there always is just a little bit of energy in their hips. Because have you ever heard the expression, the spirit moved me? Well, how movable are you? Tight butts like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Or the sixth sensory, we're dancers. We dance with energy. We spin with energy. We spin it up. So the five sensory is someone who stops the flow and tries to control and get more information. Where the beauty of really spinning up into your intuition is, guess what? You don't have to think anymore. Ah. Instead, you're present. You feel. You listen. You respond for dissonance, resonance. You move in when it's time or you move back. And there's no moment of language. There's the, the, the first brain is the, is the heart. Your heart is an intelligent organ. And this first brain informs the body way before the, the, the brain develops. And the second organ in your body to develop is the cochlear the inner ear, all the other senses come later and through that straight to your heart. We are being informed energetically and not in bits and pieces like the left brain creating a story. We are being informed in a, in a unified field. The aha, the feeling that, doesn't, that you, you, you can't even find language for. And you know you're really intuitive when you don't need language. You just go with it. The five, the, the five senses are outward senses that get defined and get formulated by influence of winning approval and trying to abandon and not be yourself. But the sixth sense is actually the first sense that takes you home. And it isn't fearful. It is your heartbeat. It is your life force, and it is your power, so breathe.